What are the top 5 free apps that every Japanese learner needs to know? Let's take a look! What's up guys, welcome to Japanese with Jules. My name is Jules, but you can call me Chafe. This video is not aimed towards giving you 5 quote unquote language learning apps that you can choose one out of, but instead is supposed to give you 5 apps that all work together to improve your Japanese. I am not sponsored by any of these apps, and if you would like to know where my current Japanese level is, please watch this video up here on how I learned Japanese over the past year. The first entry we're going to take a look at is for the absolute beginners. The app Hiragana Pro and Katakana Pro are both available on Android for free. If you don't own an Android, but you own a computer, you can download an Android emulator such as Bluestacks, who is sponsoring this video. Download the Android emulator Bluestacks using the link in the description, and you can install Hiragana and Katakana Pro on your computer. I used these two apps to learn both Hiragana and Katakana within two hours, and I've made a video on exactly how I did that linked up here. I think this is the best way of learning Hiragana and Katakana because of how fast it is. Now on to number two. This is probably the single most important app that any Japanese learner needs to know, and that's Anki. If you already know about Anki, feel free to move on to the next one as everything else revolves around Anki. If you don't know about Anki, then here's how it works. Anki is based on spaced repetition, which looks something like this. Let's say I give you a card, and on the front side of the card is a picture of an apple. But on the back side of the card is the word Dingo. Anki's job is to make sure you never forget this card by showing you the card again when it predicts that you will forget it. By repeatedly doing this, over time, the word will become harder and harder to forget. The reason you want to use Anki over any other app is because Anki is fully customizable. This is extremely important because if all you watch is anime and VTubers, learning the word Keizai is not that important. By having Anki installed, you can efficiently pick out things that are important for you and remember them indefinitely. By the way, correctly using Anki will allow you to have a 90% retention rate for everything that you put in. For a full tutorial on how I set up my Anki cards and get my Anki to look like this, click on the card on the top right. Number three is Yomi-chan, and this is a Chrome extension. I think the best way to show what Yomi-chan can do is to show it to you in action. This is the Wikipedia page for SRS. Now, I don't know how to read this, but I can very quickly find out by using Yomi-chan and highlighting over the words. Not only does it give me the pronunciation, definition in English, pitch accent information, and the definition in Japanese, it also lets me know how often it's used in anime and J-drama, so out of the sampled 4,000 or so anime and J-drama, this word ranked as the 17,751st most commonly used word. As well as where else I could see this word, such as in the news. Most importantly, however, I can hear the pronunciation, Kankaku. and create an Anki card out of it with a single click. All of this comes together to make reading Japanese incredibly stress-free, as you can simply press one button to figure out what a word means, and it also makes creating Anki cards with native speaker audio incredibly fast. This way, you'll never forget the word that you just read. For a full tutorial on how to set up Yomi-chan and link it up to Anki, please click on the card on the top right. Number four is ShareX. If you already know about this, I'm gonna bet you don't know the full capabilities of ShareX. Let's say I'm watching an anime and I hear a sentence that I wanna put into Anki. I can very easily use ShareX to capture the audio and turn it into an MP3. And using this, I can directly paste it into Anki. But even more importantly than that is ShareX's ability to do OCR. So let's say I wanna find out what Matsuri is saying in this post right over here. But for whatever reason, I cannot copy the text. Maybe for you, you could be reading a manga, so you can't copy the text right off the manga page. What you can do is use ShareX's OCR to scan the text, and ShareX will automatically turn it into copyable text. Now you can click this open in Google Translate button not to find the translation, but to now be able to use it in your web browser and run it through Yomi-chan so you can add new Anki cards. Whoa, technology! It is important to note that ShareX is not always correct but the mistakes it makes are always very predictable, and there are ways to reduce the amount of mistakes. For a full tutorial on how to set up ShareX and get clean OCR, check the video on the top right. And number five is the Japanese Text Analysis Tool by CB4960. Sometimes going out of your way to find new words can be a hassle. If you just go download some random Anki card online, you run into two problems. One, the simple problem is if it's just designed badly, you can still fix that. But two, the unfixable problem, if the deck is completely irrelevant to anything you're interested in, there's no point learning any of those words. So how do you quickly batch create an Anki deck only with words that are relevant to you? 
The answer is the Japanese text analysis tool. This tool allows you to batch import subtitle files from multiple episodes of anime at the same time, and it will generate a frequency list of the most used words in that anime. Furthermore, it is sorted from the most used words from top to bottom, so when you import it into Anki, it will automatically sort the most important words on the top. And it has other interesting stats, like say for example, if I know every single word up until the word Hisashibudi, then I know 89% of the words used in this anime. Furthermore, you can see how many times each word has been used in the show. So you know that a word that has only been used once throughout the entire show, like Jibaku, this is maybe not so efficient to learn from this specific anime because it only shows up once anyway. So once you generate this frequency list and sort out all the words that you do know, you can batch import all of this into Anki and create a deck specifically with words that are relevant to you. But we still have a problem here. Words are great, but words without context are not so great. And where better to find context than the animes we got these words from itself? It is going to be an extremely tiring process to go through all of these words and find a single example sentence and record the cards and set them all up in Anki. But fortunately, you don't have to do that. That's right, number 6 in this top 5 video. Number 6 is subs to SRS. Now if you appreciate the extra effort I'm putting in here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash that bell icon because I'm definitely doing more and you don't want to miss out. So subs to SRS allows you to put in multiple video files as well as multiple subtitle files and the app will automatically cut up each and every single line and turn them into Anki cards. It will automatically clip the audio and take a photo as well. Not only does this mean that you have basically created 6,000 example sentences for words that you've just added, but you've also added plenty of example sentences for already existing words and new words that you're going to add in the future. Furthermore, because subs to SRS only extracts the lines from the anime, all the parts that are not lines get taken out. This means you can now create a quote-unquote condensed audio with nothing else but just native Japanese speaking. This is helpful for passive immersion. Links on how to use both the Japanese text analysis tool and subs to SRS will be linked in the description, not the top right this time because I ran out of cards. I hope you got some value out of this video, and if you did, show it by smashing that like button. And hey, while you're down there, why not share this video with other Japanese learners too? You'll be doing everyone a service. Thanks for watching. Cheers.